Shane, what's the name for the Boxing Promotions? I'm lucky enough to be joined by the man himself, Sean Bailey. Mm. Good How to see you? you. I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you. So, is uh, boxing something you attend quite often, or is this the first time for you? I'm a massive fan of boxing, a little family history. My uncle Dennis is the biggest boxing fan in the world. And we used to watch the Hagler fights and all those kind of Sugar Ray Leonard. And I've always been into boxing. When I was a bit younger, I tried it, but I'm not that good at not getting hit. I can't move my head quick enough. But I've always watched it. And I've been a youth worker for a long time. And box, boxing is a very good way of doing youth work. Um, so obviously, I know you've got a lot going on at the moment. You've got your own campaign. And you, as, as I know, you want to be the future mayor of uh, London. And that's something you're very ambitious about. Is, some, is boxing something that you see as uh, an important role maybe within the communities that can help like problems such as knife crime, such as like other kind of gang crime that takes uh, place in the streets today. Do you think boxing can be a massive way of reducing that down the road? For me, I'll tell you why boxing is part of the solution. When you talk about young people, everybody talks about youth work and boxing's been going on for years and everybody talks about what could be done. And to my mind, you need youth work that's inspiring, you need youth work that involves young people so they think they're part of something, and you need youth work that gives people confidence, and boxing does that. You, you know the deal, you and the other guy in the ring, that's it, yeah, yeah, right? That builds your confidence, and what it gives you is a transferable attitude. You can bring that same confidence to a job interview, that same confidence to school, but also when someone's trying to make you do something you don't actually want to do, that's the confidence that stops you getting involved, so you can say no. And boxing has been, been in our communities for years and years and years. And I know the boys that I used to work with, the ones who were a bit fisty, a bit handy, when I got them involved in boxing, it took that part of their personality away. They gained some self-respect, some self-discipline and some self-control. And that's kind of one of the unique things that boxing can give to people. I mean, you have great examples of that as well. Andy Joshua, who was someone mm. who used to be related to gang crime and stuff mm. and completely changed his life around. Lawrence Zaccoli, Joshua Burtz, I mean, the, the names go on and on and look at them now, they're very successful people. You think that they, maybe like a person like Andy Joshua to stand up and help support like uh, boxing for the communities and stuff in like London would be a good example and it'd be a good way to back up uh, funding and stuff for the sport as well? Look, with the massive rise in crime we've had in London, knife crime's up 42%, burglary's up 39%. When I say to people, my approach is tough and tender. If you look at the tender part, that's where people like Anthony Joshua and all those big names are important. Because what they say to a young person is, I used to be you, you could be me. And it's believable. It's someone that you could imagine growing up with that, that, that looks like the people that you came from in, 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 in you know, background and that kind of stuff. So yes, it's very important. But why boxing in particular? For a certain number of young people, boxing will work because it works with their confidence and also it's cool if you say to someone I'm off down a boxing gym nobody laughs and that's a really important thing when you're dealing with boys who are trying to figure out their way in life and, and decide who they're going to be they need something that they can present to other people that works for them as well and also I'm assuming obviously because of the discipline levels at the short, uh, the short shows as well and like some of these kids they might not have had uh, parental figures in their life or they might have lost them down the line a lot of the time when a boxer goes to a boxing gym they'll end up like having a father and son relationship with a trainer as well. Do you think that that's something that could help them as well? Look, that close relationship you get with a trainer, regardless of what's going, going on in the rest of your world, is key because they're the person who can really speak to you and start to encourage you and help you challenge some of your own thoughts. So if you're involved in gang crime or people are trying to lead you astray, that's the kind of conversation you have with your trainer that you wouldn't have with anybody else. Again, that intimate relationship is what makes boxing special. But there's the other part, being part of a club. So you, you, you now carry the responsibility and the reputation of your whole club. And that's the thing that really stands you up. And you start thinking, look, I box for Repton, I don't know, I box for Mr. AK, you know, I, I box for the art of boxing. What you start thinking is actually, I want to represent them properly. I want to be a, a, a good functioning part of that. And all of those things help you regulate your behavior. Boxing isn't the only way to do that, but it's definitely a good way to do that. That's why I've always been a fan of boxing and the community aspect of it as well. And as I know you're a boxing fan as well, we'll get on some boxing fights that are happening. Donnie Wilder, Fury next week, massive fight. What's your opinion on that fight? How do you think that one goes? I tell you what, when you hit as hard as Donnie Wilder, you, you can always win. You, know, you, yeah, course, you, you could yeah. be on the back foot the whole time, yeah. job over. I mean, look, th that's the glitzy end of boxing. That's the end that we all see. I'm a big fan. I'd, I'd like to see who wins the fight. I don't, I'm not a gambling man, so I don't make predictions, but I'm very interested who wins. And um, is boxing shows something you're going to want to attend a lot more of in the future as well, like coming down to the York Hall and stuff? I do my fair share of boxing shows. I've been to York Hall before, but who, if you're in this country and you haven't been to the York Hall, get down here. Yeah. This has been a launching pad for so many big boxing careers, anything from Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank, right up to AJ. This has been the launching pad and the atmosphere is unbelievable. 
unbelievable. And I've seen some young, younger kids in the, in the crowd, both girls and boys, and they're inspired by this atmosphere. The atmosphere is electric, come down. Okay, that was great. And I definitely agree with you on that one. Thanks for talking to Pride Boxing Promotions. Hope Absolute you can have pleasure.